Hey y'all, today we're going to talk about how to deal with this uncertain time in tech and in the job market and how to be ready, stay ready and what you can do right now, especially if you have a job right now, especially if you have a job. So um, the first thing that you should do, no matter if it is a good time or a bad time, is to keep your resume up to date. What I mean by that is when you are working and you are doing a lot of really cool stuff and you you do have achievements and um, it's really important to keep an eye on the announcement and uh, after the deployment, your project manager probably is going to share with you or like during all hands meeting on some sort of uh, demo, your pro product person will say, hey, we achieve 50% increase of sales because we implemented this feature on the our mobile app, whatever it might be. So as you hear those numbers, if it is not classified or you can somehow resurface it in the way that it's not spelling company secret, you, you should put, put it on your resume. Absolutely. Because let me tell you, quantifiable results are the key it's a it's a very key component to your resume you should have quantifiable re results you should have numbers you should have results of your work so well mobile apps are reviewed code like this is all good but what you actually did what your feature actually has done for the company like what 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 did what good did it do like maybe you reduce whatever like bugs or um, increase um, performance app by 50, 80, 100 percent, whatever it might be. So put those quantifiable results in your resume. And by the way, I know resume sometimes can be confusing and tricky. If you need help, hit me up. I will I will leave my website where you can get in touch with me, schedule a session with me in the description for this video. So like if you need help with your LinkedIn profile or your resume, hit me up. I'm here to help. Or if you're interested in like your career uh, development and um, how to bring your career to the next level, hit me up. I'm here to help. So, um, LinkedIn profile, uh, the same thing. Uh, your LinkedIn profile you should be kind of a mirror of your resume, but you can be a little bit more free with your LinkedIn profile. You can be a little bit more uh, creative with your LinkedIn profile because guess what? It's not your resume. Resume is different from LinkedIn, um, but like your experience and your achievements, they should mirror each other like in, in two places. It's really, really important. Also, um, job interviews uh, and the, the um, job interview questions. And job interviews is not something that we do every month, hopefully, or not even every year. Uh, I certainly don't want to interview for a new job every single year because like it's, let me tell you, it's tedious. And um, if you work in technology or in any industry, if your industry is changing, if your industry is growing, you're probably going to have new interview questions. Like for iOS developers, there are certainly new questions like with new technologies, with UI, async await, we have combined now. So, and all those questions, like they can be added onto the less existing interview questions that potential employers might ask you, especially if it is a new com uh, uh, company, especially if uh, it's a team that utilizes newer um, techniques and uh, would like to stay up to date to the latest and greatest technologies with Apple. So really important to keep up to date with your platform, uh, keep up to date with the interview questions, play around with with the tools that are available now because um, unfortunately at our jobs it's it's really rare when we try something completely new like latest and greatest, right? Um, we normally because like the larger uh, the the bigger company is, the harder it is to bring the latest and greatest features of the language. So that's kind of the problem. So like play around with new technologies and uh, keep your interviewing skills sharp. And like you don't have to do it every day. So you can do it like uh, once a week. Uh, 
or something like that, do it regularly. The same thing with algorithms and data structures, because algorithms and data structures, it's not just uh, remembering the techniques, it's like really the way of thinking. And uh, the less you do it, the less you think in terms of algorithms and data structures. So um, pick a day, pick like maybe like, an, I don't know, like an hour that you are dedicated to get up to speed with your industry, get up to speed with your technology, and you are ready for the interview. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. And by the way, if you need mentoring, or if you want to um, practice interview questions, if you want to um, have improvements with your career as a software developer, I can also help you with that too. So hit that link down in the description for this video, and I am more than happy to help you. So, and the third component, really, really important, is to protect your mindset and protect your mind. Protect what you're reading, protect what you're looking at, protect what you're engaging with or who you are engaging with. And uh, I'm going to tell you one technique that I personally use and I know it's, it might ruffle some feathers and some people might get upset with me, but my mental health is all I have and uh, this is something I do on a regular basis. So, if you see something on Facebook or, or on the LinkedIn or on other social media platform that you don't like, what you can do, you can, like, there are normally some sort of like three dots, and you can click on those dots and say, I'm not interested in that content. Show less. Also, you can go as far as unfollowing people and unfriending or removing connections. It is extreme, but if somebody doesn't bring you peace and resource, like if somebody puts you in a state that you're not resourceful, you don't have to look at it. Like you don't, and, uh, you don't have to look at it, and you don't have to say anything about it to that person. Like it's, it's, uh, I'm. Controlling your feed is not the same thing like, hey, like you posted something that I didn't like, so that's why I decided not to follow your post anymore. Like that person doesn't have to know about it, and normally they normally they don't. So, and another thing with like recent layoffs in the current situation in the job market, uh, what I noticed uh, that LinkedIn, my LinkedIn was flooded with layoffs, with information about layoffs, with information about um, the people uh, learning uh, that people were let go or lost their jobs, stuff like that. And of course, I like and I share, and it will trigger that algorithm of LinkedIn and more. So I, I, like all of a sudden, my feed was full with people who lost their jobs, and it's really sad. And, um, you know, when people, like, if, if I know that person, like, if you follow me on LinkedIn, I will, I will share it, and I will recommend it, and I will put my recommendation, and, like, and I will, if I know, if I hear about jobs and uh, um, companies that are hiring, I definitely will let them know. In fact, it is probably be a better help for your uh ex-co-workers or your friends who are looking for a job if you let them know who is hiring right now versus just a like and share. So, and because I liked and shared certain information, LinkedIn thinks like, okay, he likes layoffs. He likes seeing and hearing from people who lost their jobs. Here we go. Here's your feed. Like, everybody lost their jobs. So, I, I intentionally, if I uh, started Letting my letting LinkedIn know that no, I'm not interested in that. And instead of uh, liking those posts, I start engaging in celebrating or reacting on the posts that I like. Somebody find a job or somebody open the business and stuff like that. More positive thing. And even though like it doesn't change the like the market situation necessarily, I see a lot more stuff where people are still finding jobs and finding employment and starting businesses and uh, getting promotions and like do not 
doing pretty well for themselves. And um, that kind of helped me to be in that resourceful state because like, uh, especially on LinkedIn, LinkedIn is a professional site and this is the website where I come to um, share my content, uh, also look for a job, engage with the professional community, connect with other developers, connect with other professionals. And when I see that a lot of people that like I do care about or the industry that I do care about, a lot of people lost their jobs and it really brings me in a negative state, in an resourceful state. So I want to be, I, I want to keep my resourceful state going so this is why i control my feed but at the same time like when people do need help i don't i don't just pass by i i i, I will help as much as i can but it's really important uh to control what you read stop reading about recessions stop reading about layoffs stop reading about latest news about layoffs what company how many people they let go stop looking at those websites it is it is a part of reality, but the more you bring it into your environment, this is how you structure, this is how you mentally structure your environment. And it's really important to protect your mind, especially if you're looking for a job, especially if you need to perform, if, especially if you need to go and get it right now, especially if you need to be at your 100% resourcefulness right now so this is this is why it is really important to um tune out and control your feet and if uh if one of the sources don't bring your you you resourcefulness happiness the information that brings you joy and brings you uh bring uh, lifts out your spirit because it's important to protect your spirit too it's okay to like it's okay to be your moderator and moderate your feed moderate what you're looking at moderate what you engage in with well i hope this video was useful um let me know if you have any questions let me know in the comments how you control your feed and what techniques you you are using so you are a little bit more intentional with social media and how you get ready for the interviews and how how are you doing how are you doing i want to hear from you and um thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one bye y'all